This video will show you how to create a batch file that can launch PyCharm for Py G PyQGIS and Qt uh, with the correct uh, Python interpreter for the project. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I have PyCharm open here. I'm just going to adjust this. Um, so that we I'll close the project is what I want to do. Okay, so we got that project closed. Close PyCharm. Okay, so you can look at check out this website here uh, for this description, and I'll show you exactly what it's it's telling us to do here. So the first thing we want to do is we need to create a batch file that can handle this. And so here on my C drive, um, this is my QGIS install. You have to have the, the developer package installed. Um, this is the OSGO 4W, the 64-bit. I have this batch file here. I'm just going to copy it and paste it. This is just for the OSGO 4W shell. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rename this PyCharm OSGO4W. Okay, now uh, I'm going to edit this with Notepad++. Pull that over here so you can see it. And I'm going to come back to this website and grab this batch script text off of here. Um, pop this back open, and we're just going to copy that in here. Okay, now there are a few things I need to change here. If you noticed, when I pulled up this, my folder path here is a little different. I've got a 64 bit, so I need to put a 64 on the end of here. And then here, this is the path to my PyCharm. Okay, and so it's in Program Files 86, JetBrains, PyCharm, bin, and there's the exe I want. So I want to grab this. I'm going to copy that path. Um, come back over here and put that right there. Okay, just make sure that I was having that right, and I'm just going to copy that again. Put that last slash in there. Okay, now I want to save that, and we should be good to go. So let's pull that folder back up, and now what we want to do is we want to run this. Okay, now PyCharm is running. It's in a different window. Okay, I'll pull it over here. So PyCharm just started up. Um, I'm going to do create new project, uh, sure, pure Python, and let's see if I can just put it on the desktop here. Desktop, and let's make a new folder, test. And we'll put it right in test. Okay. Oh, it's supposed to set up the interpreter here. And this is the true interpreter we want. Now we want to go into File, Settings. Let's see. Project. Project interpreter. And I've got that interpreter set up. We can install packaging tools. Give it a second here. Yeah. And we can see everything that's, that's installed there. Um, so when you hit install packaging tools, it shows you all the packages that are installed for this interpreter which is really nice to know because 
if you're developing for QGIS you, and you don't want to uh, introduce any dependencies, uh, you've got all those things here. Okay, so now your project is set up for that. I'm just going to close PyCharm. Uh, and I want to run this batch file one more time. We'll see if that project pops up with the correct settings, which hopefully it does. Okay, here we go. So there's PyCharm, File, Settings, Project, Project Order, and there you go. We have our OSGL 4W bin Python exe, which is the one we want. And so that's how you can set this up. And then let's just show you what that does as far as uh, autocomplete and things. So we'll put a new Python file, test, and if we go import qgis.core, well, let's go from qgis.core, I'm going to go import. import all and then from PyQ4 import cute GUI so you can see that I have all these things here and then I can go QGIS we have all these things um, got you know auto completes everything here for us so that's how you can set that up to give you auto complete uh, in PyCharm uh, there you have it. Best of luck to you with your development efforts.